Ladies and gentlemen, your depression will come back. I will try to cure it, but the news is kind of bait out there for Battlefield 6. We got news about Call of Duty Zombies. Treyarch just confirmed some stuff that I want to talk about. We got Halo news, PlayStation news, Xbox news. So let's go for two likes on the video. But coming in at number seven, we're in the PS5 redesign will enter production in 2022 and supply chain sources say redesign console will feature a new semi-customized 6 nm cpu from amd now the plot here is that we're gonna get like a new playstation 5 redesign this is not like this is not gonna be a playstation 5 pro this is not gonna be like a playstation 5 slim i i really hope that one day we get the backwards compatibility yes there is no point for me to talk about the backwards compatibility, but I'm still gonna bring it in because I wanna be able to sell my fat PS3. Smash the like button for the fat PS3. But the, the situation here is that they are looking to redesign the PS5. Apparently from this article, the external look is not gonna be different. It's still gonna look like the Sony Pony PS5, but the insides, the hardware is gonna be toyed around with. They're gonna be putting in a new chip. Here's the thing, we can all assume here, nobody knows the, you know what, accurate answer. And I'm, I'm just gonna let you know straight up. We're not sure if the performance will be altered or not like my stud muffin mind thinks that if they're gonna be like adding like a different chip surely the performance will be different Whoa. It might be a little bit superior or it might be a little bit inferior, right? But the reason they're looking to redesign the Sony Pony PS5 is because of the supply issue. They, they need new chips because the chip that they currently have in the normal Sony Pony PS5, it's just, it is very hard to manufacture that right now. And that's why we have a lot of supply issue and a lot of people want that Sony Pony PS5, guys. Also in the news, shout out to the homie for adding me in the situation two times. Microsoft says that it has never made a profit from the sale of an xbox console now some people will be surprised but personally i'm not surprised about this whatsoever this is what one of the microsoft spokesperson said and i quote we don't we sell the console at a lot asked if microsoft has ever earned a profit on the sale of an xbox device and she said no some people might be surprised but this actually happens with consoles all the time except for the soldier boy console right like he likes to have those knockoff consoles and he likes to actually make the moolah off of that but not sony not microsoft Microsoft. more often than not they sell it at a loss sometimes they break even sometimes that is like mega rare okay sometimes they would make like you know five dollars extra you know five dollars of profit on a console sold the way they make that real money is by actually selling the PlayStation Plus the Xbox Game Pass the multiplayer the golds they make money by bukake on the fan base but the real money is with digital games and the subscriptions it's very understandable because nowadays we got a couple of options yes soldier boy console that's an option too but generally when you give people options of four $400 console, $500 console versus like $2,000 PC, $3,000 PC and $5,000 NASA computer, obviously you're gonna be going with the $400 and $500 console. Myself included, I got the RTX 4090, but I'm still a console player because I'm just built for the console, guys. Also in the news, the homie codename came out and he says that any update on the Outbreak Easter egg still 100% dropping during season 3 because a lot of people are kind of sus right now, right? Like a lot of people are like, hey man, Trek is out there doing helicopters with their woolies and they're not gonna give us any DLC content and they say that's the plan, so maybe it can change. I don't know guys, I really don't know. And this is gonna be really sad because one Giga Chad posted this over on Reddit and he says that it's May and we only have two maps and th these are facts, dog. Like look at that, by this point in, 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 in World at W's life, the first Zombies game we had Nocturne and Toran, we had Virag and from then in Black Ops 1, we had Kino, we had 5, Ascension and Call of the Dead, Black Ops 2, Transit, Nuketown, Die Rise and Mob, absolute legendary map selection. We Black Ops 3 had Shadows, The Giant, the Rise and Dracha, the Zetsubu Nishima. Black Ops 4 had 9, Voyage, Blood of the Dead, Classified, Dead of the Night, and AE, like, I'm not sure what AE stand for. I just forgot the name because after that, Zombies kind of went downhill, in my opinion, compared to, like, the previous Legendary games. I'm not trying to rile up the crowd. This is just my opinion. I even got my hands up, okay? Smash the like button for me to be brave and letting my opinion on the, uh, on the internet. Now, in May 2021, we have D-Machina and Far Bissy. Hey. This is the saddest map selection ever. You know, talk about free zombies map, okay? And this is the thing, man. Like, back in Black Ops 4, when they dropped the season pass, the first couple of maps were actually, like, quote-unquote, like, original and new. Surely, they dropped DLC 1 Dead of the Night out of nowhere. The map felt underwhelming. And then we had the AE map, the second, like, DLC 2 map. I don't know what the map is called. Professional YouTuber out here. But that should give you the plot, right? Because the thing here is that back in the days, when you would purchase a season pass, you would 
get like good quality maps, maps like Mob of the Dead, Buried, Origins. You, you, like, but, 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 but D Machina is not a bad map whatsoever. The situation here is that we only have two maps, and two maps is not gonna hit people in the G spot, okay? I, 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 I'm sorry, but it's just not gonna do it, guys. We need more map, we need more content. If they need to stop doing helicopters with their release, that's where it comes down to. Now, speaking of the Halo Infinite, we apparently have a rogue employee, or I should not say a rogue employee, I'm just saying that for the, the, the memes and you know, just overall tone of the video. But apparently, a former 343 employee, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but I'm just gonna give you the summarized version of it. Jason Shry actually commented on the situation as well. And from this former dev, Halo Infinite is still gonna be good, but it's not gonna be like an epic game, it's not gonna hit people in the G spot. That's kind of like what I'm getting from this. He says that the story is a big improvement, the gameplay is much richer, though the development cycle is too long. Don't expect this to be an epoch making masterpiece. Uh, I, I think he means to say like epic. English is not my first language. Says that last year disastrous demo was because many engine features were not fully implemented at the time and they had like, you know, crunch. They were working overtime until the early hours of the morning. Maybe this is one of the reasons why this dev pieced the F out. Honestly, we have no clue, but he says that the game is still gonna be good, but it's not gonna be like a masterpiece or something like that. And TBH, it's gonna be subjective for everybody out there when the game comes out. I guess people will know like I'm not really a fan of Halo. I never played it So I, I cannot give my opinion on it, right? Also in the news shout out to the homie for adding me in the situation And we're hearing that the Witcher director Conrad he left CDPR following allegations of being a big guy on campus, guys. And this is what we're hearing. We have the direct quote. He says that nonetheless, a lot of people are feeling fear, stress, or discomfort when working with me. He commented before apologizing to Stat. What a guy. What, what a guy. What a guy. The article says that he was believed to have played a major role in the next Witcher video game. And when contacted by Bloomberg, they confirmed he had left CDPR and was sad, a bit disappointed, and resigned after his departure. I want to make it very clear. These are just allegations of him being a big guy on campus. Uh, obviously, he kind of left right now, so that is kind of sus. But maybe he left because he was like, man, you know what, CDPR, if I tell people that I work at CDPR, they're not going to take me seriously. I have been working. My off and some people are actually fear of working with me uh, apparently i'm the big guy on campus and then he pieced the f out or maybe he was really being the big guy on campus but really man this is just bad news after bad news and speaking of some bad news still no official announcements from dice yet but audio from early versions of the trailer are being posted in many places this is charlie until secondary twitter account we got westy he's kind of doubting that we also have homie saying that yo man i believe it and i really quickly want to say this objectively speaking we do not know if the trailer audio leak is real of course i personally believe that's my subjective opinion i personally believe it's legit right because after you listen to that audio leak my guy you you will know there are a lot of elements around there like i make videos mostly every single day okay like i edit my videos i watch a lot of editing videos on youtube so i know how much work that could be so if somebody really faked this they probably spend a lot of days working on that because getting like different clips and different audios it definitely takes a lot of effort and not to mention even Tom Henderson, the original leaker, you know, uh, the, the leaker of the community, the savior of the community, the El Capitan himself says that this trailer audio leak is actually genuine and he has actually seen the trailer. So he's kind of telling us, I personally believe in the guy, but objectively, we still got to wait for the trailer, guys. And Jeff Gruff came out and he says that update lost just when confirmed, but I do think that Battlefield move to later this month, early next month. And he was like, he came out just recently, right? And he did say that we're going to be getting the trailer this week. We're gonna hear about Battlefield, but apparently every single leaker who said that we're gonna get the trailer this week or by the end of uh, April or early May, all of them zero and dice EA number one. Man, this is this is crazy, man. Like, where is the trailer? Tom came out, he says, a personal thoughts on the Battlefield trailer, dude. I don't think it's being delayed or changed. I just think that nobody has a genuine clue of when it is. This is why you don't give a date when you're not certain or just speculating. Roberto Serrano came out, you know, homies call him Cat Williams. He says, in my opinion, in my opinion, in my opinion, in case it was not clear, and homies out here, you know, putting photographic images, he got caught in 4K, and I'm just gonna say, guys, like, it's it's fine, man, he's just a homo sapien like me, like you, right? Let's not, let's not attack the man, guys. Tom says that the whole trailer audio leak, and people are making big memes with the trailers, look at that out here, look at the ambiance, we got the Uganda Air Force, we got Keemstar running, there goes the chopper, chopper go boom, we got the squirrel going, taking off with the jet, robot dog falling, this is how you go underwater. We got the drones, 
and we got America and fireworks happening destruction look at that destruction crazy weather dynamics tornado just took off the tank you guys can actually box in this game we got crabs this is how you respawn in the game jet just took off look at the speed on that thing man this is crazy never have i thought that war we're gonna if you want to listen to it i will pin it in the comments but I'll, I'll just recommend taking your right hand i'll recommend taking your left hand as well just just put it together man send a prayer out let's hope that it doesn't get leaked out i'm talking about the full trailer let's hope that the full trailer doesn't get leaked out i hope we get it officially before it gets leaked out but check out this video on the screen hit the subscribe bell so i can interrupt you every time you're about to score on your crush subscribe subscribe subscribe